how I met Nibsohindra. Uh, and, um, and how that introduction changed Paul Cortan's life. Uh, so not to belabor little stories, but, but again, we all have these side interests. So I went uh, to a meeting in uh, Davos, Switzerland, where we had a paper on uh, uh, the use of a anti-eosinophilic product for ulcerative proctitis. Okay, so I was giving that talk. Uh, and and before that, about a year before, I had started my relationship with uh, Peter Kefauver. So I'm in Davos. It's uh, probably late April. Uh, and I say, well, you know, Davos is only about two hours from Munich. Maybe I'll just drop in and see how, what Peter Kefauver is doing. And we, and we hadn't had delivery of our laser yet. It, it was in, in the pipeline. So I called up uh, my wife, Margaret, and said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go visit uh, Peter Kefauver for two or three days, and I'll be home a little later. So that was no problem. And um, so uh, I arrive in Munich, and... Uh, it's, uh, I, I think it's on, on a Saturday. And uh, so I, my first stop, once I get checked in out of the hotel, in the hotel, uh, is, uh, and it was very close to Peter Kefauver's hospital, is I walk over to his uh, unit and it's locked. Not a soul. I said, well, I guess there are no bleeds or anything. Uh, and although he knew I was... I, I, I told him I was coming, if I could come. So I go for this walk, uh, nice afternoon, and, uh, and there's a sort of convention center nearby, and I see something in German that says a medicine, internal medicine, uh, something, or the Congress. Well, you know, I'm always a sucker for medical meetings wherever <laughs> I go. And I said, well, I'll just walk in and see what, oh, it's, uh, what it's about. And I walk around uh, looking, no one, uh, you know, just walked in. No registration badge, nothing. Nothing, nothing. And um, so I, um, I, I come to this poster, and um, it's, a, um, it's, it's a poster uh, on uh, sclerotherapy for, uh, for uh, uh, varices. And right next to it, is another poster on uh, the use of a stent for biliary decompression. So I can see that that's fantastic, you know. And, and uh, although I, I knew a little bit about ERCP and I and I used to do the occasional case, but never good at it. And um, and uh, and so there, beside one of these, uh, so. There's a fellow with the with one poster, and then there was this other short guy, Oriental. And I said, uh, I'm a Normarkham from Toronto, uh, in Canada, and uh, he says I'm uh, Sohendra. <laughs> oh and uh, uh, so we, we we started this little chat, and and this I said uh, to my simple mind, now this is going to be gangbusters. And I said uh, to him, do you think, and Nip, as you know, is from Hamburg, and I said, do you think I could come and visit you uh, and see what you're doing or how you're doing? And he said, no problem. And uh, that uh, November, I went to, uh, to uh, Hamburg, I brought Margaret with me, and I spent, I think, uh, maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks with Nib. And again, that blew my mind. You know, I, I remember the first time going to Demling's unit of this, you know, just patients being processed and examined. 
And uh, there was uh, this, uh, there was Nib uh, doing um, all kinds of these things and, uh, and uh, with visitors. I remember when I first went to several people from you know, various parts of the world. And, uh, and, th and that was, that started our relationship with uh, Nib. And, uh, and then uh, when uh, Paul was just about fed up and ready to do Harry Carey in, in the pig thing in uh, Louvain, uh, I, I said, this is the perfect place. And, and fortunately, uh, Nib had a slot, uh, took him graciously, and, uh, and that was the start of our long relationship, all of us, yeah, with uh, you, uh, Paul, and uh, with, uh, with Nib and his team. Isn't that so funny? That just by, you know, just by chance, a little walk around and... Uh, Look how it happens. And there it happens.